This is lesson 6-6, six, six, which is exponential and logarithmic equations. Our essential question is how do properties of exponents and logarithms help you solve equations? Okay, so our first example is what is the solution to 1 half raised to the x plus 7 equals 4 to the 3x. So we can get a common base or kind of use this idea of 1 to 1. So 1 half and 4 are related, and we know they're both connected to a base of 2. So I'm going to rewrite each of these sides. So instead of 1 half, that would be 2 to the negative 1 power raised to the x plus 7. And then 4 we know is just 2 squared raised to the 3x. So now our properties of exponents are, if we have a power to a power, we multiply. So that would be 2 to the negative x minus 7 equals 2 to the 6x. So now because we have the same base, that means the exponents have to be equivalent to each other. So negative, 7, negative x minus 7 equals 6x. I'm going to add x to both sides. So we get x equals negative 1. There's nothing on that page. Okay, so our second example is how can you rewrite the equation 17 equals 4 to the x using logs? So when we have something like this, 17 equals 4 to the x, and we're kind of stuck, we can't really solve that, um, we can switch the form. So we can say log base 4 of 17 equals x, and then we can use change of base on the left-hand side here. So we can say log of 17 divided by log of 4 equals x, and then we're going to get a decimal value approximately 2.04. Okay, our next example, um, this one, so if we have a base of 3 and a base of 5, this isn't like the first example where we can turn them both into um, this similar base, because we know 3 and 5 aren't related in that way. So if we can't do that, a good process might be to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to take the log of 3 to the x plus 1 and the log of 5 to the x. Now, using my properties of exponent or properties of logs, I'm going to move the exponents out front. So this would become x plus 1 times log of 3, and this would be x times log of 5. Okay, so my next step is I can, um, sorry, I can distribute on my left hand side, I'm going to distribute what I have the x plus 1 times log of 3, so this would be x log of 3 plus log of 3. And over here we still have x log of 5. Okay, so then I want to get the x log of 5, or so I want to get the x's on the same side. So I'm going to subtract this one from both sides. So now I have x log of 3 minus x log of 5 plus log of 3 equals 0. So this is kind of a long one. Okay, so then I'm going to subtract the log of 3 to the other side. So I have x log of 3 minus x log of 5 equals, and the reason I'm doing this is I want the variables on one side and my just single log values on the other side. Okay. So now, I'm running out of space here, so let's add a slide. Okay, so I have x log of 3 minus x log of 5 equals negative log of 3. I think I missed that on the other side here when I subtracted that. That should be negative. Okay, so then now what I want to think about here is that I can factor out this x. So this can be 
log of 3 minus log of 5 equals negative log of 3. So I want to figure out what x is. So I'm going to divide by log of 3 minus log of 5 on both sides. And remember, these are all just numbers. I can type these into the calculator. The reason I'm not typing them in earlier in the problem is I don't want rounding error errors. So I'm waiting till the very end. So then my final answer here, I would take negative log of 3 divided by log of 3 minus log of 5 in my calculator with parentheses, and we get 2.15. So again, that's kind of a long process, but taking the log of both sides using the properties and then getting your variables on one side, your non-variables on the other side, and then using again the properties to simplify. Okay, and our last example is solving a log equation. So we have natural log of x squared minus 16 equals natural log of 6x. So for this, we know because it's natural log of something equals natural log of something, it's that one-to-one -one property. It's kind of like when we had 2 to the something power equals 2 to the something power, we know that the exponents have to be equal. So same is true with logs. So we actually know here that x squared minus 16 has to equal 6x because of the properties of logs. So this is a quadratic. We can get it all onto one side. So this would be minus 6x minus 16. So then we can factor that. We can say this is x minus 8 and x plus 2. So that would mean our solutions would be 8 and negative 2. But what we have to remember is that we can't take the log of a negative number. So if I plug in 8, I'm not going to have a problem to either side of the equation. But if I plug in negative 2, it's going to cause me to take the log of a negative number, which I can't do. So negative 2 is extraneous, if I could spell here. There we go. So 8 is our only solution. So these can be kind of tricky because every single equation is different. We're going to do more practice with these um, at our Google Meets, but this kind of gives you four at least different types of examples to go by when you're working.